Scarborough police are investigating allegations against a doggy daycare in town. This comes after a former employee started a petition to close the doggy cottage. Before we get to the report, a warning. The videos you are about to see will be upsetting to some. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry has details on the allegations. Samantha Larson worked at the doggy cottage in Scarborough for eight months. She says she saw many different kinds of abuse during that time, and her mom says she came home crying just about every day. I've seen them just pick them up and just throw them. She says dogs were picked up by their necks, ears, and back legs, as you can see in this video. So she started a petition on change.org. I want something to be done. I want them to be charged with animal abuse, and I want the place shut down. Since the petition started, she's heard from a number of former employees, as well as people who bring their dogs there, like Kristen Foss, who brought her one-year-old dog Harper there for the last year. It has been great. I mean, no concerns. Harper would go in wagging, excited. But as these allegations came out, Foss learned Harper had gotten out one day and she wasn't notified. As we got to Doggy Cottage Tuesday morning, asked to get Harper, asked to speak to a manager, and we spoke to the manager, Sarah, at the time, and she did confirm that Harper did get out on that day. Scarborough police say this isn't the first time there's been a complaint into the doggy cottage. Last month, a complaint was investigated by Scarborough PD and the state animal welfare department. That investigation has since been closed. This week, two complaints have been filed and Scarborough police is now investigating. Larson eventually left her job at the doggy cottage. I just couldn't take it anymore. She says she hopes to see the doggy cottage in Scarborough and its gray location closed for good. In Scarborough, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine. Now, the owner of the doggy cottage did tell New Center, Maine that there have been recent changes to management due to the allegations, but adds the facility is a first class pet hotel and that these allegations are false and he has been cooperating with law enforcement in their investigations.